comic book fan welcome to another week of the comic talk vaughn there can be only vaughn the vaughn and only we got our pull list for the week for october 21st uh let's just dive right into it indies dc marvel what did we pick up it's such a stacked week this week especially for me i just you know these timeless variants are, are from alex ross from marvel are finally this is the last week of them so we won't be picking up too many like multiple copies of things so we're gonna start off right now with behemoth comics hotline miami wildlife issue number two let me let me back up a little bit for you there there's a second issue of this video game adaptation the first one was all right you know but again we we collect a bunch of video game style books so i had to pick it up next up we're moving over to dark horse another video game adaptation we got assassin's creed valhalla this is song of glory issue number one uh definitely some backbone some interesting uh dive into some of the characters that are going to be in the game uh give you guys a head start so that'll be really fun to read i can't wait for that one moving over to boom studios we have uh the foil cover issue number 55 of mighty Morphin power rangers we picked this one up because uh not only is the Green Ranger on the cover, foil embossed cover, but uh, I guess this is the retir return of a Green Ranger to the team. Um, I don't know who it's supposed to be, but uh, that, that was the premise for this book. So I'm kind of curious. Power Ranger books are actually really good. Uh, continuing with Boom here. Issue number 11, Something is Killing the Children. Probably one of the hottest indie books on the market right now. If you're not reading this, James Tinney in the fourth. Werther Del Dera, check this book out. It's incredible. It's also very gruesome. Uh, it's, it doesn't hold back any punches at all. Um, I forgot who did the variant cover for this, but uh, this is uh, the B cover for Something is Killing the Children, a virgin art there and then i found this interesting uh i only paid 30 bucks for this variant cover but it's listed for like a hundred right now on comic book realm i don't know if that's correct but uh here is the virgin variant cover for something is killing the children issue number 11. so i picked it up for like super cheap um and, and you got to pick up those books all of them are going just bonkers on the secondary market uh, moving over to image we have big girls issue number three this is a kaiju style book where these young kids grow up to be these big babies these big creatures that demolish cities and they have to another kind of sad book but they have to put down these kids you know that that grow like that it's really weird uh Stillwater issue number two another really really good book by chip zadarsky town this town that this guy this guy comes across an inheritance and he gets called into this town from a relative he's never known his entire life but there's this mysterious something's going on with this town so this issue two is going into diving into more of the character's backstory of as to why he has these ties to the town uh really really good read uh next issue from image here we have uh number one the scumbag Apparently this guy is supposed to in charge of saving the world, but he's like the one person, their final resort, and he's just like a piece of crap. So <laughs> we'll see what this is. Uh, I don't know if we'll stick with it, but it is a new number one from Image. So you always got to kind of see, see what the flavor of the week is, so to speak. Moving over to DC, we have Justice League issue number 55, continuing the Dark Knight's death metal tie in there looking forward to that read also heard there was a new number one there's a new first appearance for a character so we'll see what that's about we have an anniversary issue here for nightwing issue number 55 or 75 excuse me i almost said 57 he's back nightwing is back dick has recovered all his memories after the joker war so we'll see what happens where they're going with grayson's story because we have dc future state coming in a couple of months uh, our next issue here, Batman 101, the aftermath of Joker War. A very interesting read because uh, not only do we have a clash with Grifter, a Wildstorm character, and we haven't seen Grifter in a while in the DC Universe, but uh, we're trying to see what happens with Bruce. Does he continue operating as Batman? Is he going to be able to afford it? Lucius has all his money, but like, will he give it back to him? Is he still going to be the Batman that we all know and love? Uh, again, DC Future State might have something to say about that. 
and here is the character design variant for grifter there we picked up as well so three covers for batman this week i picked up a bunch of cardstock variant covers for books that i'm not reading just because the art was so good so for example here catwoman issue 26 i mean come on that's an incredible cover right there just had to pick it up i'll skip through it and see what's going on with catwoman one of the, the books that I was looking forward to right here, Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn, Sean Murphy, one of probably my favorite artists of all time, um, writing this book or helping writing this book for Black Label. He was writing Batman White Knight. Uh, so this is a continuation with Harley Quinn two years after the events of Curse of the White Knight. And then there's a the second issue as well. Or... or, or the B cover anyway excuse me I misspoke we have Teen Titans 46 I'm not reading this book at all I just love these cardstock variant covers so I just wanted to add that to the collection we have multiple covers of this this is like one of the hotly anticipated books of the week another death metal tie-in we have Robin King long live the king the most sadistic 10 year old in the DC mythos so picked up two copies of that because uh robin king's supposed to be a hot character so and we also got the variant cover as well for robin king looking looking like wolverine a little bit there with the claws that cardstock variant is amazing and that wraps it up for dc so we're moving over to marvel start things off with amazing spider-man we got 50 dot lr last remains so the last remains lr is going to follow the rest of the the spider heroes uh trying to convince peter something something bad's about to happen to uh, peter and so they're there to try to prevent that from happening because they've seen it happen in the future madam webb has anyway uh, moving along, we have another Chip Zdarsky book, one of the better books on the market right now, Daredevil. You can't go wrong with Daredevil. They always seem to find the greatest, the best creative teams to write that book, and Daredevil is no exception right now. We'll see what happens because he's on trial for murder, and I don't know if this is the issue, but they, they need to come up with a verdict soon and see what happens with them. And here is our first Alex Ross cover, timeless cover of the week so far. Moving right along to 10 of Swords. This is part 10, X-Men issue number 13. So we got to continue with that. I'm behind on these books, so I can't really speak as to what's going on yet. Great cover with Apocalypse holding those dual swords. Uh, there's a variant cover of him holding a sword as well. Looks, looks sick, but we did have to pick up this variant cover, of course, the Timeless Cyclops by Alex Ross. Gorgeous. Gorgeous covers. Again, this is the final week for the Timeless book, so at least I won't be spending an extra 15, 15 to 20 bucks a week to pick up an additional copy of a book I was already buying. Um, new number one, Werewolf by Night. Uh, I haven't heard good things about this. Uh, I'm a big fan of the original Werewolf by Night, something that did, you know, used to work decades ago. I don't know if this story can still, you know, hold a flame anymore if anyone really cares but one of my, my favorite character of all time moon knight came out of this book so we'll see what happens there moving over to venom we have issue 29 this is venom beyond part four we found out who codex is and what his uh game plan is so to speak why does he have dylan brock in his hand gotta read the book to find out picked up a couple of covers for this we picked up the variant cover cover price there of venom 29 there was a black and white for 20 dollars, but of course you can't we just i can't pick up every variant cover <laughs> and uh, i know elite's gonna like this but I, I thought might as well right picked up the venom variant fortnite cover yeah i said fortnite i said fortnite <laughs> moving right along we have a uh, uh, second printing of thor issue number seven nothing too big there just uh, a cover of something that happened in the book who the hell picked up the hammer that's not thor and uh, some of my favorite covers this week goes to uh spider woman issue number five this is the legacy 100th issue of spider woman this is the art germ variant cover anytime art germ does anything we're going to pick up stanley's artwork it's fantastic 
and we also picked up peach momoko did a cover as well for spider woman this week uh amazing amazing there's also virgin cover arts of this book and the the art germ one as well but you know those are those are like hundred dollar books <laughs> just for the artwork it's cover price three or 4.99 here for this anniversary issue but wow just varying covers you know name recognition alone it's a variant so we're gonna you know bump up that price and then finally of course we had to pick up the alex ross timeless of jessica drew there all right uh issue number three of maestro nothing big there we get to continue uh the maestro mythology the origin of the character and then juggernaut issue number two he's tangling with the hulk should be a good smash pun intended issue all right iron man issue number two just fantastic artwork i mean that's what gets you we got the classic iron man suit is back as long as i keep doing covers like that i'm going to keep reading that book uh and then we have uh, ten of swords again issue 13 of excalibur so remember 22 parts so there's going to be a lot of different x titles that i don't normally pick up but we got to keep up with the story and then uh, another timeless alex ross we have the nightcrawler variant cover down to two, our last two books. Um, these are interesting as well, too. Fantastic Four, another uh, anniversary-style issue. This is the 25th issue. I picked this one up because it's the variant, and of course, there it is again. Stanley Art Germ Lau doing that awesome Doctor Doom. The best Marvel villain, hands down, is Doctor Doom. And to round it out, the final Alex Ross timeless cover. Actually, no. Oh, I misspoke. I think next week there's going to be more because I don't. We don't have the Medusa one yet. I take that back. I think there's another week of this, another week or so of Alex Ross stuff. But to round, wrap it up for today, for our October 21st comic talk, we have the King himself, Black Bolt. Rounding out the comics that we picked up, quite a selection this week. It was a massive week. Next week is going to be no different. Usually that final Wednesday of a month is kind of like a lull, especially when there's five Wednesdays in a month. But man, the, the list is big, and we're going to get that finale for uh, Batman 3 Jokers. And let me know, guys, in the comments down below what you enjoyed this week, what you are reading right now, and if there's anything... Uh, that you're looking forward to is DC Future State something that's going to bring you back if you haven't been reading comics is it going to keep you away because you don't like the direction that they're going it's only two months long but it seems like it's it's hit or miss with the community so let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, we'll see you next time October 28th for the next comic talk have a good one guys